everyone and welcome back to Bell's Ideas. Today in this video I am going to be showing you what I uh, plan to do with these baskets that I bought. These baskets I purchased them at Home Goods, and I keep them inside because here in, in uh, Phoenix it gets very hot so I, I, they, the sun, the heat would totally ruin them. So these are, it. for me, they're my indoor baskets. And um, I thought about putting artificial plants in here, but I went ahead and, and I changed my mind and I decided to go uh, with, these, with these plants instead. So I bought these at Lowe's. Now this is uh, Pachira. I have no idea, I don't have any clue about these plants, but I really, really liked this um, tree here. I like this texture here. And I thought it would go nice in this taller basket. Now this one, I, I um, this is a plant that um, is very dear to me because it was my mom's plant. And so um, I don't know anything about it, but I've had it for uh, a couple of years and it's done very well in this basket. Now this other plant, it is called uh, Aurelia. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the names on, of the plants of these two on the description if you guys like them and would like to purchase them. Uh, one thing that um, I do like to use is um, organic potting soil. I don't mind the brand as long as it's organic. I've planted throughout the years many different plants and I've tried to save money and I've used the, the cheaper version versus you know the organic and let me tell you it does make a difference. Organic really helps your plants. I, I just trust me, you see the, the plants look greener, healthier, which is of course important to us. And also fertilize your plants. This fertilizer, if you know, may, sometimes we're busy and we don't have time to fertilize on a weekly basis like they say we should. Um, this fertilizer is for indoor and outdoor and it lasts for up to six months. These are granules. So I'll go ahead and also put the name of the fertilizer so you all, if you're interested in purchasing this. I've been using this for a while and it works good. So let me get started on planting these and that way you all can take a look. Now one thing, um, it doesn't, you know, these are the plants that I chose for my baskets. It doesn't mean, you know, it has to be, it has to be tall or short. It's your preference, whatever you all like. But this is what I feel, um, or I like for, for the, my baskets that I have right now. So let me get started on planting them and then I'll show you, show you what they look like once I've uh, planted them. is um, my dad would always tell me before you plant your plants make sure that you when you have the the uh, dirt and you haven't put your plant in make sure that you water and that you fertilize and then you put your plant in or your tree same thing goes for even at the outdoor the outdoor trees or shrubs or whatever we are planting so I think that's a great tip that my dad um, gave me many, many years ago. And I tend to follow it and the, my trees and my shrubs do it really well. So here it is, guys. I will go ahead and put the name of the plant. I know the name of this one, this tree, and this um, plant. I'll put it on the description. However, I don't know the name of this one and I apologize. But if you guys like the way this turned out, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and stay tuned for more of Bell's Ideas. 